Hello here, and today we're going to play Trap Inside a Train. And there's nothing you can do about it. Hmm, great. Developed by Mary, who also developed that, that game. I, I don't want to talk about it. Anyway, uh, yes, <laughs> the Mary is also releasing my GF on Steam. Uh, it's a quite interesting game. You should check it out. Wishlist the game if you can. Uh, link in the description if I don't forget, which I probably forget. And by the time I release the, vi the video, I think it's already released, actually. So m I might as well just like ch check out the game again. <laughs> but uh, I also have a let's play above here, here on, on top of me, I if I remember to do that as well, because I'm silly. Anyway, yes, uh, this is I already mentioned the title. It's a game about train. I don't know what else I can tell you. I don't know what else about anything else about this game. It's just, it's about train. So let's start the game, shall we? My name is fucking the same. All right then. Done. Mm-hmm. You are in a train. Currently it is 2.42... p.m. Oh, how is it 42? Yeah, obviously we are in a train. Unless we are in a dream, hmm? You are one minute late to your extremely important interview for a job that you need, or else you and your three dogs and two cats will starve. Why do you have so many dogs and cats? <laughs> However, you and the other passengers are stuck inside. I mean, uh, that's casual pet owner, actually. It is of utmost importance that you either find a way to charge your phone so you can explain what happened to the interview you were sent schedule, based. Uh, I am not, not based, oh my god, my brain has been rotted so much. Uh, I mean, probably a good idea. Break your way out of this train and call Captain Interview Building. That seems like a bad idea. Do you understand, understand how important this mission is? Your pets and your belly are counting on you. Now go forth. For your name is the same, and you're getting out of this train. So, is this like a hijacking train story or. Cute title screen. <laughs> bad choices. Okay, I see. We, we just need to make all the bad choices, alright? How many endings does this game have? Let me check. I think it's a 20 minute game. But I could be wrong. Because I've been like wrong a lot of time. Let's see. Yep, 15 to 25 minutes. If you enjoy the game, leave donations. Oh, yeah. And check out your other project. Yes, definitely, I do. Somehow I think I remember some of the character that I was in this game. Or maybe I'm hallucinating. Uh, we'll see. What should you do? Take a look around. Oh, that's an interesting format. Wait, why am I stuck inside this train? Okay, why are we being philosophical? Sit down and mope yourself. Ask if anyone has a portable phone charger. Take a look around. Uh, this one. That is an excellent question. You aren't sure why exactly. The doors to this train refuse to even open after this train has stopped. Moving. No warnings from the staff on board have been issued. Are you sure it's not like a zombie apocalypse thing or something? You aren't sure where exactly you have stopped either. You might be right at the exact station you need or not. Likely not, considering your luck. Still, you have to wonder if there's something going on that the staff don't want you to know, or maybe the staff is no longer among you. Maybe maybe this is all a dream, like I said. And getting out of the train is the only way to wake up. I actually want to drink something, BRP. Yeah, I should have like drink something before I record this VR. I'll be right back. Okay, I am here again. Ugh, I've been drinking that that feels so much better. Anyway, yes, where were we? Uh, excellent question, blah blah blah. Okay, we have already read those, so let's continue. You can feel the air getting heavier and your anxiety growing stronger as the question loop around your, in your mind. Why has no one come to help? Is help coming at all? I don't know. The one thing you're sure of is that you have to get out. What shall you do? Take a look around, sit down, take a look around. Who will you approach? And <laughs> no, no. No, definitely not the two people. Oh, okay, okay, fine, the two people. We'll cover the man. Yo, uh, dude, hello. Uh, your eyes were not playing tricks on you. He's really out here wearing no pants and... Is that a pink thong? Oh no, you don't like this. He makes you uncomfortable. You hope he doesn't try to run around or you'll need some urgent eye bleach, which is unlikely to be present available in this train. You there. What are you staring, huh? You're trying to get into trouble? Cause if that's what you're looking for, you won't find it with me. Go better someone else. What? 
After much shit's going on in my life, I, I can see that. I get fired by Mishiri Boss. Said Boss is so well known and influential in the tailor tailored suit industry that he effectively blacklisted me. Now I'm stuck with an inordinate amount of knowledge about suits and selling suits and nowhere to use it. Oh, is that, is that, is that why you're pant pantless? Then after I get home every single day, my sister asks if I get a new job. Sheila, when can we buy a new toaster? I don't know! They don't hire you if you don't have 20 years experience, but also can have a degree in anything else or else you're too qualified. My life freaking sucks. Dear lord, you have met an eye contact. What will you do? Explain your mission to him. Why are you not wearing any pants? It's a lifestyle. Lifestyle. A choice. A way of life that not anyone can understand. Or will even come close to understanding in their lifetime. Okay. You see, we are trapped. Stuck in our mortal flesh. Oh, I thought you were talking about a train, huh? Unable to go beyond what this physical form allows us to touch and feel. That's why I'm protesting. To protest, begin by letting go of your inner fears and confronting society pre established rules. When you challenge those rules, you'll feel free, and soon you'll ascend beyond the mortal flesh. Cool. At first, I have chosen to refuse to wear pants. You have a feeling that it might not be his former boss that keeping Shil out of a job. Dear Lord. <laughs> okay. But why the thong? I've been told it makes me look bootylish. No. And hot AF. These are good things. If a man can have a job, then at least let him feel about delicious, I say. I don't care what you think. If you don't support the cows, at least let me live my life. Y yes, I will. You don't know what to say to that. Uh, okay, explain my mission. You briefly explain your problem with the job interview and your mission. Sheila and Sheila it's long, muttering a few relatables along the way. Relatable. Relatable. What? Leave this train. No thanks. Nobody can bother me about being job jobless if I stay here. Sheila does not seem to be interested in helping you. Too bad, because he's going to help whatever, whether he wants or to or not. But, but wait, Thong. Uh, oh yeah, it's the same thing. I thought like it will unlock a different thing. Good goodbye. You say your goodbyes. Who will you approach? A licking woman. You walk over to the woman and. Okay. Hello, hello there. Omnia, hola. Suddenly she jumped out of her seat, removed her tongue from the window and appeared right in front of you. She's disturbingly close. You don't feel comfortable. I I I do not feel comfortable in the slightest. That that's what I can tell you. Dearest friend of mine, it is fate that we have come together today. Or Myras have broken into pieces, but God has mended them together. Just kidding. I'm the one who broke into your mirror. I'm here uninvited. My apologies. Yes. You feel like you need to get out of here. Immediately. My name is... Call me Julia. I don't know if I exist in this world, so it would be a lot of trouble if there were two me's with the same name. Ha 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 I'm scared. First word problems, am I right? Uh... Yeah, so... This character has been in another game, and... Let's just say there is some, like... M multiverse shenanigans going on? I don't know, so... Uh, uh, it's from a... It's, it's not from my GF. It's from... Nathan? I, f I forget the... <laughs> I fucking forget the name of the game. I only remember the pink character here name. Uh, yes, it's it's from the game that I will link in the cards above again. Uh, basically, yeah, there's this person, insane person as well, and their name is Julia. Julia, yeah, you know. Julia and Julia. Let us enjoy our miraculous meeting. You are extremely uncomfortable, what do you say? Uh, why were you licking the window? My apologies, I just came out of a world where glass melts like ice cream with its leak. I thought to let go of old habits. <laughs> are you worried about getting out? Worry not. God won't allow our story to end here. We have too much potential and too much to live through. Too much to see and experience before we die. Are you a believer? Likely not. Your god and the god I'm searching for are completely different. When I meet them, everyone who ever adopted me will have to accept that I was right along. Then salvation will come. You feel like you're back in Bible school. It's not a good feeling. Uh, 
ask more about God. <laughs> Do you know about the world of mirrors? It is a book I read a long time ago. The book talks about a woman who finds herself in a place that is above any universe, where everything can be accessed with the touch of a mirror. Each and every world, every possibility at your fingertips. Yes, uh, thank you. Nobody believed me when I went out to look for the real world of mirrors. But after I... After a hundred years of traveling later, I found it. It's real, and I can enter any world I want from it. My god, there's sets in the world of mirrors. They know everything there is to know. They are endlessly powerful, and they love humanity very much. So much that they won't let anyone's life come to an end before it's supposed to. It's a matter of time before they accept me as a being that's worthy of meeting them in person. God will recognize me. And you too, if you like to travel through mirrors with me. Well, wait, I'm gonna close the door. Here, B. I'm back. Oh, she is out of it. Yep. You are extremely uncomfortable. Yeah. Uh, mission. You better explain your problem with the job interview on your mission. Oh, is that why you look so sad? Don't be so sad. I know exactly what we need to get out. Seems like Julia wants to help you. You're extremely uncomfortable. Uh, goodbye. You say your goodbyes. Wait, wait. Oh, I thought you will. Okay, see, see, Guardian. You all covered the smoke man. Hello. He's still having trouble with his lighter, and looking closely, he's holding the cigarette upside down. Of course, he can light it. You wonder if you should call him. Him out or let him let him go struggling. That that way, at least he won't put the train in one in it in danger. What are you saying at? At that, I'm a firefighter. It's fine. I'm studying the stuff, and I say there's no problem with smoking inside a lockdown train. So it's all right. Not. Listen, kid. What's your name? Same. I'm. How do you know? I'm Lucien. I've got this whole situation sorted out, so just chill out and enjoy the moments of peace and quiet before we go back to the hustle and bustle of daily life. Saying that, the man continues to try to light his cigarette upside down. What will you do? Are you really a firefighter? Yeah, I'm like, I'm pretty important in the firefighter profession thing. But I'm not in a hurry to get out or anything, so like, relax. See, my girlfriend is pregnant. I hope on the train to head to her place, but lo and behold, the only first trap me inside. I think it's a sign. It's a sign to all of us stuck in here, whatever is that it is that you were going to do. It wasn't what's right for you for our future. The sooner you accept that you can fight against fate, the better you'll feel. Relax. You have no words. What will you do? I'm pissed. <laughs> I'm just a slider. Enraged by Lucien's word. What? Why are you pissed? You walk up to him and grab his lighter. Struck by sudden motion, Lucien's cigarette and lighter. Blow, blows up the train. You don't know it happened. You don't know why it happened. All you know is that in a matter of seconds, the lighter and cigarette met and everything went red and orange and black. <laughs> you scream for the agony is endless and intense. What? What? Okay, explain my mission to him. You briefly explain your problem with job interview and your mission. I don't care. I told you to relax, man. This job interview of yours this isn't to... B, just like how things between me and my GF are over. <laughs> okay, okay, there. It's the reference. He doesn't want to help. He has zero interest in leaving this train. What will he do? Uh, goodbye. You say your goodbyes. Who will he approach? A sad kid? You all offered the kid. As you approach them, they look up at you. Hello? They try to sniff away some tears, but it doesn't work. The waterworks keep coming. Soon enough, full on sobbing will commence. You open your bra back, grab a handkerchief, and offer it to the poor kid. Uh, hi, M my name? K K K my name is Key. Thank you for the handkerchief, Sniff. I, I, I can't stop crying. I think I've done something awful. You told the kid that whatever it was, you're sure that they can fix it. No, I can't. I, I might I might have Yes. I might have killed a person. Oh, what should we do? Help! There's a serial killer here Are you sure you want to announce the top of your long back? Yes! Are you absolutely sure you want to potentially send this entire train to your friends? <laughs> There's like four people here. Yes. Five. 
You scared myself as you can immediately doesn't advise that you weren't aware of work there in the train all along focus on key. That's right. I deserve this. The just now revealed eyes stare. Some are screaming, some are running at key. Must will sun be huddling together in the corner afraid. It's a fucking child! Okay. Running straight at key. Running straight at you? Oh. Oh, 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 oh okay. You have made a very, very bad choice. Ending three frenzy. There's an ending one. Where do I get ending one? Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Good choice. What? W what question? Huh? Shilo? What? Okay, I think that's a uh, coding bug. Uh, let's go back. Okay, you killed someone? I... I met my hero. He didn't know, but he saved me with his words. I was so happy that I met him, I couldn't stop my questions and everything. If it weren't for him, I wouldn't be here today. I'll look up to him so much, but even so, Sniff, even after I poured my heart out to him, he said it was meaningless. My feeling, his word, everything. He said such horrible, cruel things, and in the end, he asked me to... to because of me, I... I think he's dead. Uh, what should you do? Explains your mission. You will have explained your problem with the job interfering in your mission. I'm sorry, I don't know what to do either. He has to set to help, but there's gotta be something they can do. What should you do? Good goodbye. You say your device. Uh-huh, that's enough. What a wreck team you've got here. Will you be able to get out of the straight with their help unlikely? Still, this is the hand you have been dealt. Let's go back and see what you can do. What should you do? Ask if anyone has a portable phone charger. Hello, do you happen to have a portable phone charger I can borrow for a few moments? Yes, this question to Shio Julia Lucien. Save time. Shilo? Yes, if there's a portable charger you can borrow. A charger? Now, look, where will Evan keep it? In the inner thumb. He's right. This man has no pants, some also no back. Help is coming, unfortunately for me. Good luck with your interview and all. It's the same, but I'm not looking forward to what will happen when I get out. Not a lot of people understand the cause. Some judge, many are cruel. That's why they'll always be stuck inside their mortal flesh while I ascend into a higher level of being. Some are born different, it's true, but we can all be equal if we shed this skin. The metaphorical one that is. The one that society forced on us, the one that's supposed to protect me. <laughs> I cannot read it. Protect you. Sheila, Sheila goes on on and on and on. He's taking your ear off. Soon everything he says sounds like he's repeating over and over and over again to you. You she could see a real otter. Very cute and dorky. Otter? Otter? It's the same? Otter, otter, otter. You wish you were anyone but here. You wish you could get out of this train. Same, you feel stuck, don't you? Yes, I'm st <laughs> I'm stuck with you. <laughs> That's not why, man. She'll motion for you to sit down. You do so and he puts a hand on your shoulder. Why is it that you want a job so badly? Think about it. David said, would you look for a job in society that didn't force you to do so by locking you out of essentials such as food, water, and housing? If you didn't have to, you wouldn't work for a day in your life. You pet your puppies and kittens all day long while eating pasta. It's unfair. Don't you think that there's something we can all do to fight against this system? To free ourselves from these up, made up regulations and limitations? Looking straight into your eyes, Sheila takes a deep breath. His words, which previously did not affect you, suddenly seems to hit you in the heart, overwhelming you with the emotions you never felt before. Feeling that you never thought existed in, in you rush all through your body. That's called fear. The same, let's make a good thing out of a situation. This train can be the place where a new you is born. You've never been more inspired by a person before. Don't you dare tell me to take my pants off. My eyes are wide open now. I'm sorry that I've, you've gone through so much pain for believing in the right thing. You get up and turn around to look at Shilo. From today on, we shall be comrades. You take off your pants. <laughs> it's the same. What does this mean? 
Now you're part of a revolution. Now there's nothing that can stop you and your partner in penless pantlessness from overthrowing the world's unfair rules. That's right. That's right, my friend. Shed your skin. Let the world burn. You both begin to laugh. Your name is the same and you never felt so alive before. Okay. What? Why? I think for revolutionaries. Okay. Help. There's nothing I can do about this help. Okay, how about I'm stuck in this train? Is it, is it the same thing? Oh yeah, I think it's the same thing, right? Can, yeah, it's the same thing. Okay, let's... We are here again, so let Julia this time. Yes, if there's a portable charger you can borrow. No, but don't worry. I know what's going on. I forget it all out. Listen up. Julia is staring at you so intensely that you begin to feel embarrassed. Her eyes aren't moving and seems to have a nor nor is sparkle of life with them. It's unnerving. It's not embarrassment. It, it's fear. We're sick of this train because we are in the middle of a mirror surgery. I call them surgeries because because God is fixing our mirrors so they can become one. It's like an organ transplant. We are the organs, God's the doctor, and this train is the color box that keeps the organ healthy. That's why we have no connect with outside and no help is coming. Every single person in here is getting prepped to be part of an entirely different mirror. What an honor to be present in this momentous event. Your head hurts. She's making zero sense. It's the same. We must call him. We must call God so they can free us from this cooler. Join in me and we both shall escape back to our original words. Worlds. Julia's are, eyes are hypnotizing. You can look away. You cannot hear her, hear her preaching. Even though every cell in your body knows she's wrong. There's no such thing as the world of mirrors. Come on. You'll be back to your dogs and cats and everyone else you love. Just do as I do. You can look away. Julia is our only hope. God will take us back to where we belong. Of course, God never came. Spoiler. I forgot to mention, the chance of God hearing us is about 1 in 4,000. We'll just have to keep trying until she comes. Your name is the same and you're second side to train with a maniac. Two maniac to be exact. Five God damn it. Wow. Okay, Lucian then. Yes, if there's a portable charger you can borrow. Yeah, I do. Here. Lucian says and open his hand, revealing that there's nothing on it. I know it. Of course you are. You see, it's all a metaphor. The charger on my 100% everything you want to do when you leave. But there's something stopping you. Stopping you from getting to that interview that's supposed to change your life forever for, for whatever. In theory, there's no reason why you want to stop. But once you look at it from this side, you'll understand. This train isn't real the same. It's a metaphor. Are, are you all good? The train is, is your mind. It's yourself. The only reason why you're not off here because deep inside, you don't want to go. You don't want the responsibility. You don't want that future. And us. All those wacky personalities around you and the seemingly invincible other passengers that are only mentioned when it's convenient. We are parts of yourself, parts that you try to hide. Impulsiveness, faith, guilt, apathy, apathy to what's happening around you. Every single aspect of this adventure was crafted by your brain. Thus, the train is a metaphor. What? Anyway, just keep telling yourself that, and you'll feel a lot calmer in no time. Relax and let it go. You'll be getting us out, us out of here soon. My girlfriend's a psych student, did you know? They should teach some not so stuff in that major. The one thing we can agree on nowadays is that cognitive dissonance is a bitch. O okay. Your name is the same, and you don't know what's real anymore. This nuts? I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Ending six metaphor. What? Okay, we can sit down and mop to ourselves, right? You cross your arm, po pout, and sit down with a half. You think about how unfair is that you're trapped inside train with no means to communicate with the people outside this metal carriage of doom. This changed nothing, but you do feel a little better after externalizing those emotions in a physical manner. What should you do? 
<laughs> give up? I'm stuck here forever? Clearly there's no way out of here, but uh, you're not only not getting your job, but you're also not seeing your bluff at pet Sean. Sean, Sean, right? Damn, Daily, Bobby, or Isra ever again. You're going to die in here alone and loveless. You didn't want things to end like this. There was so much you wanted to do. So much you wanted to accomplish before drawing your final breath. But as long as you're trapped in this train, you'll never get to find out what could have happened. Have been. Perhaps coming to terms with this will one day bring you to peace. But for now, all we can do is scream. Scream at the metallic silver walls that seems to be closing in on you faster and faster as every second passes. Wow, okay. Ending anyone. It's getting harder to breathe. Everything's spinning. Anyone panic. In interesting. Okay, so yeah, I should have mentioned it at the beginning, but this game is developed in 24 hours, by the way. Yeah, I need to mention that at the beginning. Anyway, yes, that's all for Trap Inside a Train. I think there's only six... Thing. Ah! What? What is What is happening? Okay, yeah, it's a, it's a rather philosophical... official novel, apparently. <laughs> it's quite interesting with all the same, but also... what? Why? Why would you put all of them there? What? Okay, then it's it's fine. Anyway, yes, that's all for Trap It's a Train. It's quite a nice, short, little enjoyable experience. I hope you enjoyed it. See you later then in my next video. Bye-bye.